Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, guys. Yes, you are in tune to <laughs> Let's Cook. You may have seen before us getting ready, getting prepared, and you would see Lyndon doing in the kitchen. We are about to start our show. Yes, we are. We're about to start in three minutes time. So we're just doing the last minute prep. I'm getting all the bits and pieces together so that we can live stream live and direct where Lyndon is in a completely different side of the UK to where I am. And I'm talking to you here and then we're gonna live stream, connect with Lyndon and we are going to go into Let's Cook. I am super, super excited. And just to remind you that on Sunday at four o'clock, we are going to be doing some barbecuing um, we're going to be doing some barbecuing. Yeah, it's beautiful weather. Very grateful for the weather that we're experiencing right now, even though we are in this season of lockdown. But you know what? We're making the most of every situation. So I am, we're about to start. So buckle up. Whatever questions that you have, make sure you ask them on the thread. And if you are coming as a replay and not watching this live, please do let us know where you're watching from and any questions that you have. But for now, we'll be back after this and enjoy the cooking. Ciao, ciao. You okay. Yeah, we can start now. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys. Good afternoon. Hey, 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 hey. Have you got your phone on there, Lyndon? Because I can hear feedback. Sorry, no, nothing's on here. Okay. Hey, hey, hey guys, this is your girl Yvonne Michelle along with Lyndon Wissart, the Inspired Diabetic. And we are here to do some cooking online. This is Let's Cook. And we are here to do some real good cooking today. We know it's hot, we know it's hot. And in the kitchen is even hotter, but we've got a treat for you. A treat for you, if you stay for the end of the show, we will let you know what the treat is. But for now, I'm going to hand you over to my diabetic himself, Mr. Lyndon Wissart. Over to you. Hey, hi, Yvonne. Welcome and thank you very much for introducing me today. As you may know, my name is Lyndon Wissart, the Inspired Diabetic, author of the book, The Inspired Diabetic. Yeah, so, me and Yvonne, we've been a few, doing a few um, cooking sessions lately, and last week's one was awesome. The cauliflower and rice was brilliant. If only you guys could have tasted it, and it was magnificent. My daughter loved it, and she was totally surprised. But anyway, this week, what we're going to be doing for you is a chickpea and sweet potato uh, masala curry with an ochre in it, yeah? And I've got a couple of other ingredients in there, uh, which I'm going to add to it, which I'm going to explain to you as I go along, and I'll explain to you why I'm adding it into it, yeah? So what we're looking to do, we're looking to empower the world with... Uh, healthy nutritional foods eating and making it simple and easy as possible for you okay so with this uh cooking session today Yvonne I'm going to get ready if anybody's got any questions out there so, uh, type them into Yvonne on the Facebook or the YouTube channel and yeah let's get going with the inspired Yvonne Michelle cooking session yay so the first thing we've got here we've got some oil I'm a man who likes to cook with some olive oil. So olive oil in a pan, we have olive oil. Yeah. And first things first, we're gonna cook off, with, cook off with the onion. If I'm going too fast, you let me know. But I'm just gonna go as I go and get everything ready. So with the onions for the curry, I like, I like mine's rustic, yeah? You can have it finely chopped, you can have it however you want, but I like mine's 
rustic because I love onion. And as you can see today, I'm using white onion. Okay, because I normally use red onion because red onion is a flavonoid food. And with a red onion, it heals and nourishes the pancreas. So onion's gone in there. And this week what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put the garlic sprays in today. Normally I put the garlic in afterwards. But what I want to do today is get everything quickly so that it all cooks down and infuses with lots of flavour. So as you know, garlic right now is one of the things they're talking about is it help with your immune system, help build your immune system. And also, good thing about garlic, it tastes nice. Yeah, tastes lovely. Yeah, so with the viruses that's going around now, garlic, ginger, are just some of the ingredients that we're putting into it now. That's helping. So garlic is one of the first ingredients that we're gonna use to help build your immune system. Yeah. And with garlic, it also helps clear the chest. Remember that. So I'm gonna put the garlic straight in with the onions. I've got some thyme here. I'm gonna put some thyme in as well. I love the thyme. I'm gonna let that split down. And I'm gonna put the ginger in now. The reason why I'm gonna put the ginger in now is because I want it to infuse with the flavors to come out. So the more you cook it down, I use the ginger, I don't peel it. I, use, I just wash it and I just use it with the skin on it. Okay? And I like, I like my ginger chunky. If you don't like your ginger chunky or you don't like the taste of it, two things you could do. Either one, don't put it in, or number two, use smaller, smaller pieces. You could grate it, blitz it down if you want as well. I'm just going to chop it up a little bit more. Because when you've got sometimes with a ginger, you've got strands in it. And when you've got strands in it, it's not very pleasant. So you've got to kind of pull it out. It doesn't look pleasant around the dinner table that you're pulling something out of your teeth. So just chop it down a bit finer. But I, I don't mind chewing on the ginger because the ginger helps clear the throat, helps clear the chest. So ginger's going straight in there. Oh, that's lovely. The smell that comes out of that straight away. Beautiful. As you can see, it's coloring already. So what I'm gonna do from there, I'm going to put the um, tomato puree in. No, I'll tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm going to put the spices in first before the tomato puree because I want it to, to burn down. All right, so today I'm using Spice Delight uh, Masala, Durban Leaf Masala. Okay, the great company, great uh, product as well. And the good thing about this masala mix, everything's in it already. Normally we have different things like coriander, garam masala, chili powder, all those kind of things you, you normally put into it separately, but this one comes with everything. So this one's mildly spiced, so I'm gonna use, use one tablespoon, two tablespoons to get in there. Oh, oh that smell. Thank you, Sashni. Woo! Yeah, so they have a range of different spices. They got for fish, fish masala, uh, meat spices as well. Uh, chicken spice, different spices, but look onto their website, Spice Delight UK on Facebook as well, and you will see uh, the range of products that they have. And wow, woo, that's coming up, that's coming up, that's coming up. So that's the spice in there. I'm going to cook that out a little bit. And with these spices, sometimes what you find, what it comes up to you, and you can see the smoke coming up. And sometimes you, you want to be careful, you might inhale it and then you start coughing and sneezing and all those kind of things. But the good thing about this spice, the spice is grounded down already. And with this kind of spice, it's normally cooked out already. So when you add it to your food, you don't get a gritty, 
bits sometimes you have in your mouth. So I've got a spice in there. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little bit of stock in there. <coughs> whoa, whoa, yeah, man. You can tell that's a real spice. That's a real spice. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I like it when it cooks down like this. Look. Has it knocked you back, Lyndon? Has the smell, the aroma knocked you back? Yeah, knocked me out. Gosh. Oh. When it looks out like that, that means it's good quality. If you ever get a spice and it does nothing for you, you say, why is it not knocking me out? Why am I not feeling it in my throat? You know, right. it in my throat, it's like, what's in that thing, you know? Right, yeah. This is awesome. I'll get you. All right. I've got a bit in there. So also what I'm putting in there, I've got, I've got sweet potato, and I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna put a sweet potato in now, so I wanna cook it out, cook it down. Yeah, there's different stages when you can add things to the actual curry, but I'm gonna put this in now. <laughs> That's a real curry, Whoa Exciting times! Yes, 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 did you hear that? Okay, so I'm putting a sweet potato in now. This is strong, man. Thank God for fresh curry powder. Masala curry sauce, wow. Okay, so I'm mixing that round now, infusing it. You gonna have a look at that? So get it mixed in like that, okay? Whoa. That looks divine, Lyndon. It looks really yeah, good. So I'm going to let it sweat down for a second. Because what happens, if you let it sweat down for a little bit, then what will happen, the, the sweet potato, will it, will the, the sweetness will come out of the sweet potato, will come out. So what I'm going to do while that's there, I'm going to add the okra, yeah? Okra. I'm going to add okra. And the good thing about the okra, the okra is good for your blood sugars. So I'm cutting my okra like that, I'm leaving it whole, putting it in. And one of the things with okra, because okra is good for the body, it's very nutritional, and it helps reduce the blood sugar. With this, because it's nutritional, the kids sometimes don't like okra. But if you put the okra into the stew early, or into the curry early, and cook it down, what you would find, it would disintegrate a lot. And you won't even notice that it's in there. So later on, once I add the chickpea and uh, the spinach, you won't even know that the okra is in there. But you know one thing? You know your child or the family is going to get a nutritional meal. Yeah, nutritional meal. Yeah? This is good. <coughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. That looks so good. It's really colorful. Lovely, yeah. lovely, lovely. Okay. So what we've got in here, we've got the garlic in there, the onions, the ginger, bay leaf, sweet potato and okra. Okay. So I'm happy with that, I'm sweating down. Because I'm doing it live with you guys today, I normally sweat it down a bit longer, but as we're running up against the time aspect of it, I'm gonna add the, I'm not gonna cook it as much as I normally, but if you can see here, uh, I just had a bit of it there. You can see the okra is starting to break down already. You see that gooey bit in the okra? Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I've got my tomato puree to go in there. Excellent. It's definitely clearing my chest. So that's the tomato puree that's gone in there. I've got a stock in there. A tiny bit more stock. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the heat, to, turn the temperature up now. Yeah. Turn the temperature up. <clears throat> While turning the temperature up, I'm going to add my chopped tomatoes. <clears throat> What's the benefits of heating it up, Linda? The benefits of heating it up, so when you put the chopped tomatoes in, it brings it to the, the temperature up straight away. So, that, mm -hmm. so therefore, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for it to cook a long time. Okay. So if you get the temperature temperature up, you get you bring the temperature back down to let it simmer. Okay. 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 So at this stage now. One of the things that I like, yeah, is cinnamon. Yeah, I love my cinnamon, so I'm gonna put some cinnamon in. Okay, this is additional for my purposes, yeah? I love cinnamon, yeah? And don't forget with cinnamon, cinnamon helps reduces the blood sugar naturally as well, yeah? So the next thing I'm gonna be putting there is organic moringa, yeah, organic moringa. Moringa is very good for uh, diabetics as well to help reduce the blood sugar. And so with moringa, yeah, it helps build the immune system. Uh, it's an antioxidant. Oh, wow, one second. Just gonna have a quick wipe, okay? Okay, so with the moringa, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of moringa in, yeah? It's looking good, Linda. It's looking good. Moringa. So you can find out more about Moringa. It builds the immune system. It's good for the blood sugar level. It's good for detoxing the liver as well. So if you want a very good quality Moringa, you go to my website, Inspired Diabetic, and I have a shop there. You go to the shop and you can get Moringa there. Life of the tree, Moringa. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the Moringa. That's awesome. So that's Moringa in there. So even with the moringa, it helps thicken it as well. Look at it, look at that, oh gosh. It's changed the color a bit, but don't worry about that. This is personal. Yeah, I know it changes the color because moringa is green and normally uh, the, the masala is normally red, very red. But if I wanted it more red, I could add more tomato puree. But so don't worry about the color for now because I enjoy it like that. So when you're doing something like this, do it to how you feel comfortable with. There's other ingredients you can add to it. So look at that, you can see it boiling away there, which is brilliant. Okay, so that's that. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my little, my own little personal secret, creamed coconut. Some people add uh, coconut milk, but I like creamed coconut for some reason. It's just it's something that my mum uh, brought me up with. So, Whoa. It looks so good, Lyndon, so good. So, so one, one, once you're using certain ingredients and you understand what they taste like, you, you, could, you, could also, you can already imagine what, what the food's gonna taste like, the curry's gonna taste like, you know? And to me, this, oh, 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 I, did, I wish I was a chef. <laughs> This is wonderful, wonderful. So I've still got some stock left there. If, yes, I, need to, if I need to, it to, to make it run down a bit more, to make it thinner, or if I want to add more flavor to it, I'll use a stock. If you've noticed, I've added no salt to it yet. No salt at all, mm -hmm. yeah? But I'm going to add the salt later if I need it. Only if I need it. Okay. Right, so that's the curry on. The other thing we're going, last thing we're going here is chickpea. And what I'm going to do now, I like to add some coriander, fresh coriander to it. I'm going to, I'm going to save some coriander for the end. I like it right at the end, I do. So what I'm going to do with this now, I like the coriander stalks as well. The coriander is also a flavonoid fruit, which is good for what? What is it good for? Diabetes. Yep, and it's good for the pancreas, 100%. Yeah, so this is what we've got. We've got, we've got ingredients in this dish that helps with your blood sugars, reduces your blood sugars. It helps heal the nourishment of your pancreas. It helps to build your immune system. 
healthy detox the body as well. So you've got a, a bunch of ingredients just in this one ingredient, this one uh, meal recipe to make you feel energized. Okay, so I'm going to put that on a low now. I am. And what I'm going to do next, the only thing that's going there now after that is uh, some more coriander and chickpea. That's the next thing that's going there. Okay, excellent. So that, that sweet potato is cooking down nicely. So one or two things, you can either leave it like that or put a lid on it. I'm going to put a lid on it for now. Okay, and just leave it like that. Okay, what we got going on with the curry today, we're making a side dish. The side dish is a dry dish, is a couscous, yeah? So I've weighed out my couscous there already. The couscous is very good alternative to rice. It's less as a, less as a, a carbohydrate. So with couscous, a lot of people find it hard how to cook couscous. What's the best way to cook couscous? Some people put it in water, some people steam it. But the best way I like to do couscous is to steam it, yeah? And it always stick when a lot of people do it. So one of the secrets to making couscous not steam, stick, sorry, not to stick, what I do, I put olive oil in it, okay? So first of all, you put olive oil in. And with this, it's very, very hard to judge on how much olive oil to put in. But I put enough in there. And what I do, I squeeze, you can see how lumpy it is there, yeah? Where the olive oil is there. What you want to do is just keep going round and break it down. Just break it down, okay? And I'm going to add a bit more, because as a chef, you get, you get used to seeing what it looks like. So that's enough couscous uh, oil in it. It's like when you put the olive oil in there, it's like it's kind of wet, it is. But the olive oil, it had flavor to the couscous. Now you see, you see how it looks in kind of wet? It's kind of uh, breaking apart. In the beginning, it was coming together, but because the olive oil is in it, just you know, see how it's breaking up, you see that? So that's the kind of texture we want, yeah? At this stage, what you can do, you can either add, you can add uh, just plain water to it, or you can add some stock to it, or you could add a seasoned uh, liquid to it. But what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna season that with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna put some uh, pepper in it. Yeah. And you know what kind of salt I use, don't you? Himalayan salt. So I'm gonna put a bit of Himalayan salt in there. You don't have to put it in at this stage, but as I know what I'm doing, <laughs> hey, thank God for that, huh? I'm adding it now. So I'm going to mix that like that. So as you can see, look how, look how that looks. Yeah? Try and remember that kind of texture. That it's, kind of, it's kind of wet. It's a wet texture, but it's not sticking together. Yeah? Mm. This is one of the secrets of couscous, making couscous. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to add hot water to it. Yeah? Just a little bit of hot water. So you add it, and then you mix it. So when you're adding the water, it, it, it's very, very easy to overdo it if you add too much water. So once you get add the water like that, just keep looking at it as you add the water. Okay, so right now, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, a wet texture. As I'm putting the hot water in, it's cooking already. Yeah, can you hear, the, can you hear how it's taking? It doesn't, doesn't sound gritty anymore. Mm. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. But when you're doing couscous, it's best to add less water then to add more water. The reason you add less water is because you can always add more when you take it off and it's not cooked yet, okay? So when we're doing very big batches of this, we pour a lot of water into it, or a lot of stock, stock into it. 
And then, okay, so what I normally do, I normally feel it, yeah? It's very soft now. It's getting, it's getting soft to the point where it's nearly cooked. Okay. So now, the couscous is at the level where it looks kind of soggy. Yeah? So what I'm going to do with the couscous now, I'm just going to leave that to steam. Okay, so I've got steam here. What, what we used to do in the kitchen, I couldn't show you. Sometimes in the kitchen, what we do, we get the cling film and then we cover it. So we steam it, we steam it properly. Yeah, this is what we normally do. So you're actually steaming the couscous. And then what we do, we just put it into a pan, a battery, a pot with hot water. You stick it in there like that, and then you just seal it like that. And then you leave it for about five minutes. Let's give it five minutes. And then we check it after five minutes. But don't worry about it, because it's steaming, one of two things is gonna happen to it. Number one, it's gonna dry out, and you can add more water to it. Or number two, it's going to have too much water and it's going to be st st uh, sticky and gooey. So if it's like that, then we just take the foil off. Yeah, and we'll just leave it open. All right, so let's get rid of that. Oh, this, oh I'm sorry, guys, but you can't smell the curry. But I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. There's nothing better than cooking and smelling something that, that smells delicious. It does smell delicious, doesn't it? Delicious. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I know this must be a masala. Yeah, okay. If any of you join me late, a masala is normally red color. Yeah, that's the color of masala. Yeah, but I've put moringa in there. That's changed the color a bit. Yeah, yeah. And I put the moringa in there for one reason for nutritional benefit of the curry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why I've added it. Yeah, so this is basically one of the dishes a curry for a diabetic or pre diabetic. It was to help reduce the blood sugars naturally. This is what it's all about, reducing blood sugars naturally. Yeah? yeah. So I'm gonna try sweet potato and it's all cooked. Okay? It's al dente. Yeah. Al dente means it's um, not cooked but nearly cooked. That's brilliant. All right, so uh, the, only, the only thing I've got left to go into there is the chickpea and coriander, and then taste it for seasoning, yeah? Well, if I need any more uh, masala seasoning in there, then I'll add some more. But this is good quality masala from Spice Delight, so you're guaranteed to enjoy the flavors of the spices. All right, so next thing we're gonna be moving on to is the weight loss, the TID weight loss salad. Yeah, the reason why I call it TID weight loss, the inspired diabetic weight loss salad. And this salad is something that I came across when I was re reversing my type of diabetes. I'll put my own little twist to it. Yeah, so the salad that I'm doing today, if I get the ingredients here, is celery, cucumber, apple, lime. These three ingredients. Yeah, something about that helps people with weight loss. Yeah, there's there are a lot of people out there that do not juicing. Yeah, with this kind, with these three or four ingredients, and I'm just gonna add a little thing to that, extra thing to that, which is a cafe. I'll tell you a bit more about cafe in a second. And you know what I like? I like my walnuts, but not my walnuts. Sorry, my uh, yeah walnuts, my walnuts. So with my walnuts, but you know what I like about my walnuts? I like my walnuts roasted. Yeah. So normally when I'm at work, I put them in the oven. I'm just going to put them in the oven on top of the oven there for now. Yeah. And the aroma is going to be wonderful. So I'm going to get it on now. All right. So let's get started with the salad. So first things first, let's chop up the salad. Get a clean knife. So I've washed my celery. Some people, you know how you get celery and it becomes stringy like this? Yeah? Some people don't like that stringy bit. Yeah? If you don't like the stringy bit, 
what you can do, you get a peeler and just pull it down like that and take it off. If you don't like the stringy bits, you get take the peeler and just take it off. Okay. But I don't I don't mind I don't mind the stringy bits at all. So the celery, the first thing, I like to cut my celery like that. Any questions, Yvonne? I was just asking you, and I just realized that I've been on mute. I've been like, I was like, are you doing this for that? You, I was asking you a question. I'm like, can you hear me, Linda? And then no answer. And then I realized I was on mute. <laughs> okay. It is such a hot day. I don't know how you're managing in that kitchen, Linda. I am absolutely sweltering in this office. Yeah, and, and they're probably wondering why am I doing a curry on such a hot day as well? Yeah. <laughs> but this yeah. is what we're doing, though. We're doing a barbecue on Sunday, though. Yeah, so, yeah. That's because... an exclusive. So I've got the cucumber there. Yeah. So you're setting the place on fire. Again. <laughs> oh, Guys, no. if you are enjoying it's the, the oven. Show, oh, the oven. For the couscous. Oh dear. That's what it is. Guys, do remember to, to um put your comments on the thread if you have any questions. Please let us know. Okay, so any we've couscous. Got about, we've got about I think we've got about 22 people. Is that 222 people looking on YouTube? Okay, so you've got the couscous there. You see that? Mm hmm Look at that. Perfect. Oh. Looks like mashed potato. Yeah, it's lovely. This is, this is lovely. You see how fluffy it's coming up? Yeah. Perfect, lovely couscous. And then what you can do with it now, you can add anything you want to it. A lot of people, they like, like dates to it. They add peas to it, sweet corn, whatever they want, different things. Uh, a lot of people like to add uh, cinnamon to it as well. Uh, so it gives it a fragrant flavor. So let me just try this. Okay. Remember, it's got salt, of, all I've got in there is salt and pepper, that's it. Wow. That is, that is awesome, okay? So what I'm gonna do with that in a second, I'm gonna leave it to warm, leave it, leave it warm on the side. That's perfectly cooked. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I will, I'll come back to you. Whoa, gosh, I love cooking, man, woohoo! The smell of those walnuts, and, and the good thing about the walnuts, when you, Dry them out, they become nice and crunchy, not, not kind of soft. Yeah? Must have been, those walnuts look good, Linda, they look good. All right, so back to the cucumber now. The cucumber and celery is a very, very nice combination and it's very refreshing, especially now for um, the summertime, yeah? Yeah. As a nice, it's going to be like a a sweet and savory salad. A sweet and savory salad. Sounds good. You think that sounds good? Gosh, yeah, you, should, sounds good. There, you should smell it and taste it. Mm. I'm looking forward to when we're on the road in the future. And we're just going around and getting people to taste what we're actually doing. Okay, so let's not forget about our curry that's cooking away nicely. See that? Oh, -ho. brilliant. I keep telling you guys, I should have been a chef. It looks yummy. That looks so good. Oh, the sweet potatoes nearly cooked. I'm very happy with that. Let me just have a, have a try. So what I don't want, I don't want the sweet potato to overcook. Yeah. That's perfect. That is nice. That is nice. 
And you know something? I really don't need any thing here. And if you can have, have, a, have a look here, can you see the okra? Not really. No, you can't exactly. You can't see the okra. So what I'm going to do with that, now that the sweet potato is cooked, I'm happy with the flavor. I'm going to put chickpea in now. Because the chickpea I put in now, because it's cooked already, the chickpea. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. It's cooked already. I was going to bring that up to temperature. I'm going to put a bit more stock in it. Last of the stock. And then what I'm going to add is a spinach. With a spinach, you can add it at any time that you like. Baby spinach, wild spinach, you can use. And it's just wilt it down into it. See, if, if you want, if you want to impress your family or friends when they come around and you're doing a curry like this without spinach, put the spinach in very last because it adds colour to it. And you don't even have to break it up because it, it will just wilt down, it will just wilt down. And don't forget, spinach is good for you as well. It's a very good source of protein. And there's a lot of people like uh, vegetarians, vegans, yeah, who likes to, uh, when, they, when they become a vegan or vegetarian, they, they wonder, what am I going to eat to replace my protein from my meat? And this is one of the best things you can have. Spinach, wild spinach, callaloo, collard greens, anything like that you can add to it. So this is perfect, lovely. So that's wilting down, lovely. Oh, man. Okay, so that's there for now. So, so last thing I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna put coriander in there, last minute. Right, so just to finish off our salad, what I'm gonna do now is add the tomato, um, apple, I'm gonna add the Granny Smith apple. Why Granny Smith apple? Granny Smith apple is the lowest, one of the lowest content of sugar in a fruit, yeah? In the apple range, yeah? This is why I call it a low calorie, low sugar weight loss salad and trust me guys please 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 try this salad yeah even if you just do a combination of this by itself the flavor of the celery the cucumber and the apple is amazing and because with the the cucumber it's got its own kind of flavor and the celery has got its own kind of flavor if you like those flavors it makes the salad taste so much better, especially before you've got family around, friends around. And look at that. I don't know, this is a nice combination of colors there as well. It's all green, which is lovely and perfect. Yeah. So next thing I'm gonna to do to that, I'm gonna make the dressing. Yeah, I'm gonna make the dressing for it. This is kaffir. I'm, I'm gonna use kaffir. Kaffir is fermented milk. Yeah, kaffir is fermented milk. Yeah. It's, it's fermented milk, and basically what it is, it's, it's from a cow's milk, a goat milk, or sheep milk, yeah? And the benefits of caffeine helps build the immune system, it helps with the digestive system, improves the bone health as well. So there's many uh, benefits that caffeine has, that's why I'm using it as part of this uh, dressing, okay? So another thing that I'm going to put to the dressing, I'm going to add, that's the caffeine there, I'm going to add some cinnamon to it. Yeah, and you guys know how I love my cinnamon. Yeah, and cinnamon is good for the blood sugars as well. It helps reduce the blood sugar. Excuse me. All right, so that's good. So next what I'm gonna do, I've got a lime here. With the lime, I'm only going to use the juice of the lime. And one of the reasons why we use lime, what the lime does with the cafe, it kind of thickens it a little bit. And, it, and the, for some reason, the flavor of lime and cafe with cinnamon together is, is lovely. So I'm just going to use half a lime. So I've got 200, 200 ml of uh, cafe in there, half a lime. About one third of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And uh, I'm gonna put in there 
some uh, maple syrup. As you know, maple syrup is very, very nice. It's kind of healthy for some people. Some people like it, some people don't, but I love maple syrup, yeah? So I just one tablespoon of maple syrup in there. Lyndon, is that a substitute for sugar? Uh, yes, it is in a way, yeah. But with maple syrup, it's much healthier as well for you as a sugar, because it's a natural, natural, uh, from a natural tree, maple tree. So that, that's the sweetness. Don't forget, you get a nice sweetness from the, the cinnamon as well, if you like that kind of flavor. Okay, so that, that's, that's the dressing. So with that dressing, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour it over the, the salad. Yeah. When you, when you taste, when you, you, you can also taste the, the dressing. And when you taste the dressing, if you wanna add more uh, maple syrup to it, if you add more cinnamon to it, you can, that's no problem at all. But with this, all you do is just mix it together. And it's, it's like a marinade. It is. It's like a refreshing marinade. And also, if you don't want it, if you don't want a chunk so big in your salad, you can also make it smaller as well. So I'm gonna add some more to that. Because it's like it's like a marinade. Okay. And then what I've got here, I've got my walnuts. So I'm just gonna keep. Sorry, sorry, I've got to do this. <laughs> oh man! Do you know what, Lyndon? I don't know how you do it because it's. I'm not even in the kitchen, and I'm here with a fan on. I've got a fan in my hand. I've got a book in my hand, fan in. Got a fan on here. It is so warm. Listen. I'm not complaining about it, but look at that. Look at, look that at this. Gorgeous. It looks so cool. Doesn't that look so cool? Whoa! It looks awesome. gorgeous. Awesome. Mmm. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat here. I've got to taste a bit of it, sorry. Well, you could send the salad to me if you like. Look, know, look I, I told you. It was. Look, at that. Been a look at that. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, Lyndon is there stuffing his face while we are just watching. But there you go. That's how it is. He is the inspired diabetic and he is making and cooking up a storm in this kitchen today. Linda, you are absolutely on fire today. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a side dish. Standing up, I'm sitting down, I'm spinning on my chair. <laughs> I can't wait for when we do the live shows, Linda, when we're in the studio together. Awesome. It's gonna be so good. Look at that. So that's a salad. Oh, so what, what you guys should do, just taste your kaffir. So it's like, well, look up the look up what kaffir can do. So that's a kaffir, yeah? K-E-F-I-R, yeah? Natural yeah. organic kaffir, yeah? Yeah. It helps, because now it's good to take, because it helps to clear the body, you know? It helps get, but you can't have it all the time because it's, it's a fiber as well, and it can help block up the system, but use it to detox the body. Okay, so how's that couscous? Whoa, look at that fluffy couscous. That is perfection. Mm, that looks good. That is perfection. Okay, couscous. So what's missing from the couscous? Get a fresh knife. What's missing from the couscous? My plate. Yeah, the mint, fresh mint. My plate is missing. So we're gonna put some fresh mint in it. I love my couscous with fresh mint, yeah? Okay, I'm keeping it, the reason I'm keeping the couscous uh, very simple today, yeah, is because there's a lot of flavors from the actual uh, curry, yeah? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of flavors from that curry. Oh, spice delight, <laughs> hey, thank you. So with the, with, this, with the mint leaves, just if you want to nice, cut the mint leaves nice, just put them like that all together, the one little pile, like that, or the big ones anyway. Okay, turn it over, so it points down, and then what you do is the strips like that. Very simple. To the side, to the other side now. Very simple. Wow, wow, wow. 
10 smaller bits. Chop it. Okay, so let's get this couscous out. Okay. Oh, that, cur that curry is, you see, the, with the curry now, you can see that the, the moringa color's kind of gone. It's coming up to the, the back to red color now. Can you see that? Excellent. Behold. I'm so excited. My family's going to be very happy tonight for the ones that's going to eat it. So I'm going to put a, the, the fresh mint in there. Okay. So like I said before, you could add other things to this. You could even add stock when you're cooking. But I just kept it raw, kept it very plain with fresh mint. Because with uh, the curry, you're going to be mixing the curry with the couscous. Yeah, and well, sometimes when you just leave that, when you leave the couscous with the mint in it, it would infuse with some more flavors. It would. So let me just taste the couscous out and taste. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I don't know what I'll do it. I don't know. I'm... Oh man. That is okay. Just good. that guy, Lyndon. You're just that guy. <laughs> Brilliant. So that's the couscous. So I'm happy with that couscous. Look at that, even with, the, even with the, the green mint in it, it gives it a bit more color. So that's, yeah. nice, that's nice and refreshing, the couscous. Okay, so that's that. Couscous is done, salad's done. What else is done now? Everything's done, they got going Curry is the bomb. Okay, so fin final check now with the curry. is sweet potato, it's cooked. And if you see that, the sweet potato is not near cooked. And I'll taste the sauce. You know something? I haven't had a sauce like this for a very long time. Thank you, Spice Delights, that's got no, it's got no gritty bits to it. And you put it in from the beginning. That that's that's a fantastic. And as you can see, that's the color. The last thing that goes in there for me now is my pièce de résistance. Is the coriander. I just love my coriander. You don't. I love my coriander. Oh, I love coriander. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love coriander. Do you know what my favorite salad is, Lyndon? It's, Your favorite it's, salad? Yeah, coriander tomatoes with um, red onion. Oh, wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. It, we'll, have to, we'll have to put that on the menu then. We'll have to put it on the menu. So there, nice green color. It's okay. so lovely. Perfect. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. And this, this dish, to be honest with you, was inspired by my man Richard. Rich, I know you're watching, I know you're listening. Yeah. I remember you showed me your dish. I know it doesn't look as good as yours, Rich. Wow. You you wish, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> this would be have to get Richard on here cooking as well at the same time. That'd be good. That'd be good. Okay. So what we're gonna do now? Let's, let's get let's get plated. Let's get plated. This is the inspirational Yvonne Michelle. Ah oh, yeah. Woo! -hoo! Okay. So that's that. Woo. See what you could do, you could either have the curry at the side or on the plate itself. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna put it on the plate like that. Yeah. Nice chickpea curry. Then you've got the salad there as an accompaniment.
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yep. That's not good. Okay, so that's that's the deal the meal for today. Salad's done. So everything's off. Excellent. That looks amazing. Brilliant. So Brilliant good. Curry. So so good. So that's that. So this is the Spice Delight, uh, curry, masala mm -hmm. with chickpea, sweet potato, yeah? And I've thrown in a bit of um, moringa as well to help it yeah. for diabetic. So this is totally good for diabetic as well, yeah? And then we've got the weight loss salad here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah? Lovely. So that's the completed meal of the day. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Excellent. Well, some, someone's going to be happy in my household today, and it's me. I think they are. <laughs> and the family. Okay, so that's our meal for today. Thank you very much for joining us. Lyndon Wissart here, Inspired Diabetic, with, Yvonne, with the inspired Yvonne Michelle, a live cooking session today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll catch you again on Sunday, Yvonne. Yeah, we we'll do the one on Sunday. Yeah, we'll like do this us. on Sunday, absolutely. Yeah, we're going to give some more details about that. And then we'll see you again next week, Thursday. Same time, same place. Yeah? Yes, so, we will. I hope you, I hope you get if you've got any questions, send your questions into Yvonne uh, via Facebook, YouTube, or contact us. And if there's something that you'd like to uh, have in the future be cooked that you're not sure about how to cook it, just let us know. And we see if we can help you. Okay, so Lyndon Wissart, the Spy Diabetic, thank you very much. Thank you Obviously, so much, Lyndon. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you so much. Just trying to get this screen up. So thank you so much, Lyndon. Thank you for being here. Look at that meal. It's incredible. On this warm, this very, I think this is the hottest day of the year. Um, it's certainly been a challenge this side. I tell you what, it really has. I don't know how you felt in the kitchen in all that heat cooking, Lyndon, but it's been a challenge in this, uh, in my office here doing the show. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed the food and we will be back here on Sunday at four. It's just for a summertime special. It's the inspiration with the inspirational Yvonne, Michelle and uh, Lyndon Wissart for a summertime special in the garden, let's barbecue. So we'll be back here on Sunday at 4 p.m. See you on Sunday. And if you can't bye. make it Sunday, we'll be back here next Thursday at 4 p.m. Ciao for now. Thank you so much bye. for watching. Bye. Ciao.